Hi, Jeff. Hello. We are at Crossing Gourlay Noodle Place here in Cupertino next to H4. And we're about to eat more rice noodles. Actually, just rice noodles because we didn't film the other time. Okay, well, yeah, we ate rice noodles yesterday, but we forgot to film it. Here's our rice noodles. We also got ume tea. We got grape juice with jelly. Mm -hmm. It was very popular, tea jelly. Yeah, it took like 15 minutes to get that one. Mm -hmm. Look at our look at our meal. Which one did we get? I got the barbecue pork. Tiff got uh, the braised beef and tripe. And there's chili oil. Tiff's favorite. I think the noodles are hot, so maybe they think that the soup doesn't need to be hot. Oh, Ooh, mine's tripe. Yeah, Tiff really likes all the inner stuff. She's Truly in the land of Asians. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Mm. Okay. So, so, I feel like I can't lift this up. Oh, just can you just leave it? I was just gonna eat it on the. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's like they stir fry the uh, noodles. Noodles for you a little bit, I think, or at least soak them. I like that they give you two quail eggs. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 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 cheers. Mm. Oh, mine's very tripey. You can taste the tripe in the soup. You know the same soup. Mm. I like the barbecue part. the kind of food I would eat on a daily basis, you know? And if I was living in Cupertino and I needed something to eat, like if I was an engineer at Apple over there, for lunch I'd be like, I don't want white uh, guai lo cafeteria food. That's what I'm coming to eat. Except it's like $13. Well, yeah, you know, when you make Apple. Is this better than our Ching West? So, think those are really hot rice noodles. They do very well, though. Yeah. I think this is a good place because they have a lot of meat for the amount of noodles they give you. Which is good. Mm. I think yesterday, last night, we went to a place that does like um, you know barbecue pork. Mhm. Mm Let's try one. That does like um, very exotic soups and does like very like uh, unique creations. I think that was more of like a like a dining culinary experience. This is more just like classic. If you want like homemade, um, rice noodles. very like homey, uh, you know, very authentic, very traditional rice noodles. I think this is the kind of place you would come to. Oh, yeah, peanuts. All yours. Fun fact: I don't like peanuts in my uh, soups or really in anything. Peanuts should be a standalone product, you know? Do you think we can make this at home? Yeah. We just need to get the soup down. I feel like everything else you just kind of throw in and cook. It's like a hot pot. Everything we like is similar to hot pot. Oh yeah, we should do a hot pot review next time. That'll be good. Except we can't eat hot pot anymore. Just like that. So as you can see in here, you know, you got a little goji berry action, you got some peanuts, you got, you I got some berries? barbecue pork, yeah. Wow, that's fancy. Um, what? yeah, I got some quail eggs, some some green onions, some scallions. Mine's just literally like innards. So if you like innards, this is a great dish. Very simple, very easy. Mm. So delicious. And it's not overly greasy. I feel like a lot of places we eat in LA are kind of greasy. Or maybe because we just have chili oil.
So, overall, what would you give this place? Really good. Out of 10. Oh, yeah, 10. I would also give it an 8 out of 10. Convenience factor, certainly a 10 out of 10. We have this dish, if you go in, like post-COVID or pre-COVID, I think it's called the five bowl special where they give you five samples of their rice noodles and it's super cute because the bowls are so small. So I used to get that all the time. I feel like the difference between the large and the regular is the same. I don't feel like I have any more food. If anything, I feel like I got more meat. Mm -hmm. Or I have a lot of meat. Did you quite try the quilt egg yet? Let's do it. Cheers. It's cold. Oh, mine is hot. I don't really like eggs, but for some reason, I feel like quail eggs are quite different. There's just something about it just being so small and cute that makes it like easier to eat. And it doesn't really taste like eggs. That's plus. because I feel like my legs taste exactly like mini eggs. Oh. No way. I feel like eggs are so strong in texture and flavor. Right now there's a lot of people staring at us because of our setup. So they will follow us, you know? Oh, so it's Tiffany so long. Yeah. I should go there and get my hair done. But after this, we're going to go to Davenport Beach. Which I feel like is such an iconic location. Of this I really hope this is when you're there. Oh! Can you taste it though? I, I bit into it. Oh! Was it painful? Okay, let's get inside this car first, okay? Here, let me help you. I'm giving Lily all the peanuts again. I don't know why I just don't like peanuts. Oh, it's because um, peanuts are too crunchy for a soupy noodle base. It like adds too much texture to the noodle, which I don't like in my mouth. Is that weird? No. But Willie's a huge fan of noodles. Where are these noodles? Which part of China are these what noodles from? Where are they? Is it really? Where is that? Is it below 